Imagine working for a company and paying taxes for years, but when the company suddenly shuts down, a local solar panel installer says couldn't get unemployment because there was no record he had ever worked there. So he called Channel 9's Angela Jacobs, who joins us now live in studio tonight. Angela, he says he wasn't alone in this. Greg, he estimates up to 20 co-workers were left without jobs when this business closed. Fortunately, this former employee has found full-time work, but he still wants to know how this could happen. After I Installer Brian Ogle was taken by surprise when his boss of five years at Simply Solar Services in Kissimmee abruptly closed shop. It's just been, it's been devastating. We found the shutdown was an order from the state because the company wasn't carrying proper workers' compensation coverage. Ogle, the father of two with one on the way, quickly applied for unemployment but never expected the reply that came back, showing he was ineligible for benefits because there's no record of his pay at Simply Solar Services. It showed up that I had no wages at all for the whole 12 months, and I'm thinking, well, I got a W-2 here that says otherwise. We called his former boss to ask if he could explain. Well, basically, they apply for unemployment, and they get a letter back saying that there's no record of them being paid by your company. Dan Mathesius didn't want to go on camera, but told me he wasn't aware of the situation. He called the numbers noted by the Department of Economic Opportunity absurd. As for Ogle, you know, what, what, what's going on here? I don't have a clue. And he's left with strong concerns of whether he's owed or could owe money. And I just want to make sure that everybody is correct and everybody gets what they're deserved. Because the last thing I want is somebody to come knock on my door and audit me. Now, so far, I've spoken to one other former employee who ran into the same issue with Simply Solar Services. The state told me if you do get a denial, you can appeal for benefits but that submitting, by submitting your pay stubs. But that process itself can take anywhere from 20 to 40 days. And that's a long time for some people to go without a paycheck.